Hey everyone, this is Huchi from Nagios, and today I'm going to be showing you how to monitor Active Directory using Nagios XI. Active Directory is a critical component of many IT infrastructures. It provides authentication, authorization, and directory services. Because of this, Active Directory is an important service for many organizations, and its unavailability can have a significant impact on productivity. AD unavailability can prevent users from logging into their computers and accessing network resources. With XI, you can always make sure that Active Directory is up and running. I also want to mention that there are other ways to monitor Active Directory with the use of plugins, but that will be for another video. All right, now let's get to it. To start off, you are going to need to go to the Configure tab and click on Configuration Wizards, then choose the Active Directory Wizard. The first thing you need to do is put in the IP address or FQDNS name associated with your domain controller. On this page, you can choose a different host name or leave it be. You'll need to fill out the LDAP connection settings according to your own environment. You can find this information by logging into your domain controller and opening the Active Directory Users and Computers console. Ensure you have Advanced Features turned on by clicking on the View tab and making sure there is a check mark by Advanced Features. Now you want to obtain the distinguished name of the container for a user and the distinguished name of said user. This is done by right-clicking an organizational unit and selecting Properties, then Attribute Editor. From here, you want to scroll down until you see the distinguished name attribute. Double-click that and copy-paste it into the LDAP base field. Now, you want to do the same thing for a user under the OU you use as the LDAP base. Copy and paste the distinguished name of the user to bind DN. And put the password used to log into the Active Directory server if required. Here, you can choose which version of LDAP protocol you want to use. For security, you can choose None, SSL, or Start TLS. The port number can be changed if needed, otherwise it defaults to port 389. Once you have that all complete, hit Next, then Finish. And with that, you should be monitoring the status of your AD. Thanks for watching. For any questions or if you need assistance, visit support.nagios.com. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. And until next time, take care.